Slack is becoming more than just a messaging platform with plenty of businesses moving part of their project and task management over to Slack. So let's see if you can too. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get set up and automated using industry leading portals, apps and integrations. Slack, if you aren't aware, is a widely used communication tool. If you work remotely, well, chances are that you communicate using Slack. However, did you know that Slack actually offers task and workflow management features? In this video, we are going to explore the checklist feature or the to-do list feature within Slack canvases, a feature that enables you to create and track actionable items, keeping your team organized and accountable directly in Slack. Slack has improved its task management capabilities with new features like Slack lists and canvases, which allow for a more structured tracking directly within your Slack tool. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and watch this video where we break down Slack lists, explaining how you can set them up and use them to track your team's tasks. But in today's video, we're specifically going to look at the checklist feature in Slack canvases that enable you to build interactive to-do lists and then you can connect this with your other tools to make sure nothing gets missed. Slack lists is a new feature that enables you to manage your tasks and projects without leaving Slack. With it, you can create and assign tasks to team members, set due dates and track progress, view task updates within Slack channels and more. Make sure you watch this linked video I previously mentioned, but let's get into looking at setting up checklists. Okay, so I've created a Slack workspace for the sake of this video. Super simple and super bare. We just want to quickly touch on some things. We've got a few different channels, general random sales and a direct message with my colleague, Billy Bob. The reason I've included a direct message is because we can create checklists or we can add checklists to our canvases within our direct messages, as we can see here. This is great for when we want to collaborate with a certain team member on a certain project or task, or even when we're helping an employee during their onboarding process. I'll show you what I mean later. So if we jump into the sales channel, we'll notice like with any other channel or direct message that we've got a navigation bar. And this is what I mean when I say that Slack is slowly becoming more than just a communications and messaging platform. From here, we can navigate to our canvases, which is what we're going to look at in a moment. Our Slack lists, make sure to watch the linked video. Workflows, or now currently named automations, and bookmarks. Now, we're going to create a canvas, and you might see a pop-up that asks you to select a template. We're just going to create a new canvas, and we'll notice those templates down there, whoop, they've quickly disappeared. Slack is a slightly buggy with the canvases, but I'm sure that they are working on that. So from here, you can just start with a blank canvas and begin including any information that is related to, for this instance, the general channel. Perhaps we look after our client onboarding directly within Slack. And for this instance, it would be client number one onboarding. Then from here, we can use the forward slash command shortcuts to add other canvases, checklists, which is the feature we wanted to chat about, as well as other elements like your text, call outs, quotes, and so on. It is somewhat similar to other document editors now where we can add database tables, bulleted points, call outs, dates, and media files. We can also, of course, access our automations directly from here to set up and start streamlining our workflow management directly in Slack. So I've jumped out of the general channel and now I'm on the sales channel. We'll notice that in some instances, we're able to directly pull in a Canvas template by selecting add template to channel. And I should say that is also templates for lists and workflows, not just for canvases. But I want to show you the to-do list template. We don't have it here. Now we will need to be patient with Slack canvases as this has only recently been added. So I'm just gonna close that. We'll remove this tab and we'll see if we can access the create new canvas, employee onboarding. Okay, sweet. So we've accessed the canvas templates, but it is quite buggy, so do watch out there. I'm gonna add the to-do list here so that we can get a look at how that would appear. You're working within the sales channel, you're communicating with your team members, perhaps your clients. Then you can just quickly jump over to your to-do list and put in your personal or your other team members actionable items for that day, that week, 
the upcoming week. Basically, all the information that you want to have there quick and ready without having to jump between different platforms or browser tabs. It's definitely helpful, but I wouldn't rely on the checklist feature for your really important tasks. You won't get notifications and reminders from these. This is more so a document editor where you can dump your information and those things that you know need to get done at some point. Now jumping out of the sales channel and into one of our direct messages, let's create an employee onboarding canvas document or checklist. We're going to add it there, select canvas, create new canvas, and we're gonna quickly select the explore templates before that disappears because it will. Then we're going to just select to use this template. And we can see there within our direct messages with Billy Bob, we can just jump straight over to employee onboarding, include all the information that our team member needs to see, as well as meetings to attend, the people that they can reach out to for assistance, channels, anything that they need to read up and get themselves well-versed on and more. This is super helpful because it's a place that you can just quickly share information with your colleagues or even clients without having them have to jump into another platform, log into another tool or try and find the information on their own. You can communicate with your client or employee directly here and then jump over to the next tab and relay certain information or find that point that you can't find in your Google Drive, your Notion, your Airtable, whatever tool it is that you use. It is helpful, but again, I wouldn't rely on your incredibly important tasks and projects to be managed in here. Now, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but the Canvas permissions follow the same settings as the channel permissions, or of course, if it's a direct message, those permissions. You can view on the top right who has access to this particular canvas, and we can customize the canvas by selecting the kebab menu to the right of the screen, which allows us to change the accessibility and even add a cover image. Now, the cool thing about these Slack canvases is that we can customize them to make them look pretty and looking pretty, they therefore look professional. But we can do much more than just create a to-do list. Let's jump into a direct message with a colleague. Now, for a more streamlined and structured approach to generating checklists, you can lean on Slack automations and templates. To access automations, well, we again just select the tab navigation and select workflow. From here, we'll notice templates that can give you a head start on streamlining parts of your Slack track management and info keeping. We'll notice the scheduled message, but we want a, let's say, weekly meeting agenda. Let's use this. Now it's currently set so that weekly at 9 a.m. on Mondays, a message is sent to a channel which collects info in a form, which also adds an item to a Slack list and then sends a message to a channel. But we are looking at checklists and canvases. So if we close this and close this because we want to use automations to create a checklist template inside a dedicated channel, which will assign checklist items track projects and provide info automatically. Let's say that when the new employee joins a channel, that means they're being onboarded, I guess, you can automatically generate and assign a onboarding canvas with checklist items for the employee to complete. To set this up, it's super easy. We'll head to Slack workflows and we'll build a form that captures task details. I just quickly got that done. And then we'll say so that once this is submitted, the workflow can notify team members and organize the tasks in a structured format. It'll help the employee by giving them the information they need and some tasks to hit the ground running. Now, when we discuss connecting our Slack items or tasks with other tools like Trello or Asana, you are going to have to rely on Slack lists. Checklists and Slack canvases currently can't be integrated with third-party tools. And so if you want to quickly create actionable items in your other platforms from your communication in Slack, well, you're going to have to use Slack lists. So again, check this video out. And as we've seen, Slack is becoming more than just a messaging and communication platform. It's evolving into a lightweight project management hub where you can manage and track your small actionable tasks and better collaborate with your team. Whether you're using Slack lists, canvases, workflow or automations, there are ways that Slack is now helping teams better manage their work. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you still have questions or you're looking to automate parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com where our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation. So book yours today.